It's Halloween season here in America. And to be honest, Halloween is a day on the calendar that I always look forward to. When I was a kid, I loved trick-or-treating with my brother and sister, even in the cold October weather of South Dakota. Nowadays, we live in Phoenix and Halloween looks a little bit different. We typically invite over our neighbors, we host a party in our driveway while all the neighborhood kids stop by to gather candy. I'm not typically a fan of ghosts and witches and monsters, but it's a fun evening and I do enjoy it. However, in my mind, Halloween also marks the beginning of the longest season of excess in our country. I mean, consider this. Halloween is followed by Thanksgiving, which is followed by Black Friday, which is followed by Cyber Monday, which is followed by Christmas, and that's followed by New Year's Eve. No wonder everybody in the country decides on January 1st they need to make changes in how they're living. Halloween through New Year's equals 61 days of excess. Look at some of the stats. For Halloween, Americans are expected to spend $12.2 billion on candy, costumes, and decorations this year. That's $108 for every person who plans to celebrate. That's $3.6 billion on candy for a one-day holiday, over $4 billion on costumes, and $4 billion on decorations. I'm not sure when big inflatable Halloween decorations in our front yard became a thing, but apparently that's what people are doing now. Thanksgiving, then, is famous for three things, family, football, and overeating. Now, meals are important, and so is celebration. Thanksgiving is a special day in our home with good food and meaningful traditions, so please don't read into this that I disapprove of the holiday. But let's be honest. When the average American consumes almost 4,500 calories in a single day, twice the recommended daily intake, it's easy to see how this holiday contributes to a season of excess. Thanksgiving gives way to Black Friday, with some stores even choosing to open on Thanksgiving Day. Black Friday gives way to Small Business Saturday and Cyber Monday. All told, Americans will spend $51 billion shopping for unneeded items the weekend immediately following a day, being grateful for all the things they have. And then, of course, we have the Christmas season and all the excess that accompanies the holidays celebrated during the month of December. The calendar is full of scheduled events, work parties, church parties, dance recitals, band performances, family gatherings, community events. Billfolds are open wide and often. 50% of holiday shoppers either overspend their holiday budget or don't set one at all. And in fact, 28% of holiday shoppers enter the season still paying off debt from last year's gift shopping. One week later, we'll gather again to celebrate the start of a new year. We'll eat more, drink more, attend more parties, and stay up later than we normally would. When everything is all said and done, on January 1st, we'll stand on the scale, open our credit card statement, or take one look around the house and realize that something needs to change. We will resolve to lose weight, get out of debt, organize the house, or overcome an addiction that began in moderation but grew into excess. We'll know we overdid it the past couple months and resolve to do better going forward. Seasons of extended excess often leads to the realization that change must occur. And that season of excess starts right now on Halloween. The upcoming months are a wonderful time of year filled with family, traditions, and memories to be made. We honor our faith, our past, and the communities that we live in. But if you are often swept away by the excesses of the upcoming season, resolve today to not make the same mistakes of the past. You don't need to wait until January 1st to make that decision. Set boundaries on your spending. Know your financial limitations and develop your budget now for the entire season. Don't let November 
and December ruin your January through October. Set boundaries on your celebrations. You don't need to embrace excess to enjoy the season of the year. Halloween can still be enjoyed without an inflatable black cat in your front yard. Thanksgiving can still be enjoyed without a stomach ache. Christmas can be appreciated without falling into consumerism, and New Year's can be enjoyed in moderation. Set some boundaries on your expectations. Too many of us fall into the thinking that the perfect holiday requires us to overextend ourselves. We want everything perfect for our kids, our friends, and ourselves. And we think that means mountains of decorations, gifts, and sugary foods. But your perfect holiday doesn't require your excess. Many times, it simply needs your presence. I enjoy myself on Halloween out in the driveway, handing out candy, visiting with my neighbors, and celebrating a simple American tradition. I can enjoy this holiday and the next one without falling into the trap of excess. The reality is, most of that excess is entirely manufactured by those who profit from it anyway. If this message felt like a conversation you needed for this holiday season, please share, like, or comment on this video to let others benefit from it too. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate your interaction very much.